So this is three simple putting drills that you can do at home, in your office at lunchtime. Hey folks, Michael Patterson here, Michael Patterson Golf. I'm in Scotland, the weather is absolutely terrible outside. We've got rain, hail, wind, snow, but it doesn't mean we can't practice our putting. I wanna keep my putting in good shape, hold some putts, make some birdies this year. So I'm going to do that by practicing at home. So I'm going to show you my three best drills that you can do at home to get your putting in some decent shape for the season that is approaching. So let's get into the video. be a good putter you really need three key skills. You've got to be able to start your ball online, you've got to be able to control your pace and you've got to have some idea about green reading. So drill number one is a start line drill and the main point of this is that you get feedback from where your ball is starting. So you can see here that I'm using a, a pelts putting aid which has two, two little marbles on it and this really gives me an indication of, of where my ball started. It's very clear when the ball hits the marble. You could also use two golf balls and just set them up, or even two cans of food out of the pantry work well. But as I say, the most important thing is gaining feedback from your stroke and your start line, because you want to be able to know that you can start your ball on that intended line you've picked out. So for example, if you're hitting putts and they keep hitting that left gate, that left side, then you know you're probably going to have to make uh, compensation. Maybe you've got your face closed. So these are things if you're gaining feedback using a simple drill like this then you're going to be able to make those compensations yourself or go and see your, your PGA professional to get a lesson to get the fundamentals locked in. Drill number two is the string line. The string line is one of my favorite drills. I will not go out on the golf course without having done this drill, you know, for, for five minutes. I'll find a flat area on the green, I'll set it up, and I'll just spend a bit of time over and over just rocking that ball into the hole. Benefits of the string line putting drill, it really gives you confidence. When you set that string line up, it actually makes it a lot easier to hold putts consistently. And if you're just seeing that ball go in the hole, time after time after time, that builds confidence and you get used to seeing that ball go in the hole. Second benefit of the string line is that it gets you set up nicely. If you get that ball from behind set up directly underneath the string line, and then you get over the putt, you're going to be able to see whether that ball is, is in the right place. I think we all know that our eyes want to be somewhere over the ball and the string line will show you that the ball is dissected, you know your eyes are in a good place. Third benefit of the string line, it helps with club face alignment. I think the majority of putters will have a line on the putter and when you put that putter behind the ball, you'll be able to get that string line covering the line of your putter. You know your putter will be square at that point. And if you know your putter's square at address, then, then that's another fundamental that, that we're always looking to try and get. So I use this drill when I am outside and this involves two, two sticks that with a string on that I'm going to put in the ground. But obviously this video is about indoor putting. So we need to come up with another version for home that doesn't involve sticking things in the ground or into your floorboards because we don't want to be drilling into our floorboards. So I use plum tomatoes. Jamie Oliver once told me that the tomatoes that don't make the grade for the cans get chopped. So if you buy plum, you can break them up easily and they're a better quality. Anyway, you need two tins of whatever works and a string and this is how you set it up. So you're going to putt to the can, use the string, and one thing that you'll notice is that the can is actually smaller than a golf hole. So this actually makes it better, a smaller target for you. Uh, and you can work away at that little drill. If you want, you can actually combine drills one and two together so you can have your string line set up and also your gate there as well. So you're getting kind of two for one in one drill. So it's kind of like a supercharged putting drill. So remember putting three parts, start line, 
pace control and green reading. We're not gonna cover green reading today, but the second one we are gonna cover, pace control. Drill three is more of a pace control drill. I like to do this drill with all the players that I coach from juniors to even low handicappers because it really does work on pace and you can really start to see an improvement where you can write down what you're scoring and track it over time. So the way you set this up is just, just like shown here, you're gonna take a coin and throw it down from where you're gonna start putting from. And then you're gonna take one putter length from that coin. And from there, that is your, your start line, that's your entry line. And then you're gonna go another two putter lengths from there. Ideally to a wall, that's gonna be your, your end line. So here's what you're gonna do. You're basically gonna see how many you can get in that zone before hitting the wall. The first one has to go just over the line. The next ball has to go just past. I would encourage you to use a marker for each one. So you just use one ball so the balls don't hit each other. So you'll putt. You'll mark your ball, then you'll start again. Putt, it has to go past to count. When you first do this, it can be very difficult and you might only get one or two or three and there's big space between the balls. But when you get really good at it, when your touch really improves, and this, this doesn't take too long, you're able to maybe get five, six, seven, eight balls in that zone before hitting the wall or before going past your, your end line. And then you know at that point your, your pace is, is really good. And then you can actually start to move your start point back so that maybe you've got six feet before your start line. If you leave one short or go too far, start again. So one of the great things about this drill is that you can have a personal best, which can then be noted down and tracked over time. You maybe start with one, two, three, and you can't get more. You keep doing that drill and you start to get eight, nine, ten. This is just your, your touch is just improving every day, every time you do this drill. So in summary, drill number one is your start line drill. You're gonna use any what device that you've got, a couple of golf balls, a couple of cans of food, something that you set up pretty close to your golf ball that you get that ball rolling through so that you know it's starting on that line that you want it to. Drill number two, the string line, my favorite. It gets you set up well, it gives you confidence, and it's really just a great, great drill. And drill number three, leapfrog. Get that ball past the previous one, don't leave it short, and don't go too far. Keep your score, improve over time. So that's it folks, my favorite three putting drills that you can do at home and um, take your putting to the next level this winter so that you're ready for the golf course when the time comes, when the weather's better. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up down below, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming soon. Until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you then.